Okay. We are at, this is the campsite. Muscalones Lake State Park Campgrounds. This is where you check in. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that you have your plate number, registration number, and you wanna make sure you have that um, recreation pass before you get here. And then you will pick up this little thing, which is the handy map. Now, if you don't get here before they close, there's a phone up there and it tells you how to self-register. So if you pay online, no problem. If not, you can use that and take care of it. And then you will pick up this baby. Now, as you can see, that's where I'm at, number 35. So you have to drive the trail one through 51, 52 through 80, 81 through 105, 106 through 130, 131 through 140, 141 through 151, 152 to 159. So that's what it looks like. That's what all these are. Boat launch, campgrounds, garage, or garbage. Okay, all that is where this is at. Okay, let's drive it. So this is where you start, right here. If you want to, you can do what I did. I parked right here. Okay, I'll back it up. So be careful. There's always a lot of kids. There's not a ton of kids though. Look at that white birch. Okay, so here's the lake, and you are really on it, as you will see. Now, driving along, 15 miles an hour, okay? And this is where you can take, put your garbage, right here. Now, this one here, don't worry, I'm gonna take my time on this one, babes. I am. This is one through 80, okay? See that? One through 80. Now, I'm show you this, pay particular attention. Over here is one through 51. Over here is 52 through 80 and the bathroom. So let's take this one over here first. Okay, one through 51. I got all the windows open so you can hear all the noise. Okay. Campsites 1 through 51. Now, and you see these little poles there? They have the numbers on them. I'm going to start out here so I can show you. See that number two right there? Number two. Ah, there you go. Okay. So that's how you can tell what campsites you have. Especially if you arrive in nighttime, there's no street lights. That was the biggest downfall last night. In a storm, no street lights. And I, I forgot to put a light on for me to see where I was at in my tent. So if you're gonna leave, make sure there's the light outside so you can see where you're going back to. That's how I got lost. Now there's footpaths, as you can see. Little footpaths. So you can get down to the bathroom. All right, now let's keep driving. This is number 13. This one here is number 12. Number 15 over here. Number 14 over there. So as you can see, they're numbered odds and evens, just like you do on the road. Look at that view. This is the reason why I came up here. Okay, and as you can see, when you read about the water on the stuff, it's not really a big issue. She's pouring out fresh water, or pouring in a container. You got little benches to set at. You got little fire rings to make a fire. This is a, a really great campsite. I'd recommend it. It's a long drive to get up here from Detroit, but I mean the view. And it's a sandy beach. There will be more videos on this. I mean, look at that. Just look at that. And this is campsite number 24 over here. 
<laughs> so 24 has a great view. 25 has a great view. A little bit of water, but not really an issue. There's 27. See the, the uh, numbers on the uh, electrical box tells you your perimeter. There's 20. I mean, just look at this. The leaves all turned. It's beautiful. <clears throat> Now I'm telling you what, if you've never stayed in a tent as big as this one, you really need to. Two people on that thing, dog, parrot. <laughs> There's plenty of room. We got a wood burning stove. We got fold up tables. We got everything in that place. Just everything. And you see how the uh, flaps come up to protect? And I got those two uh, dome windows it doesn't even rain inside. Those are wide open. Okay, let's keep going. All right. So this 35 down here and 37, they had this one coned off. <coughs> Don't know why. See, there's the bathroom. Straight down there. Straight shot. And there are foot paths for it. Okay, foot paths. 39. And as you can see, you still have your view. This is 41 and 39. You still have your view of the water. Somebody's gonna be here for a while. They got a wood pile going. <laughs> I love it. So this is the first circle. This is one through 51, okay? One through 51. And there was another water faucet back there. You get fresh water. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry about that. Now, let's take one through 80. Okay, you have to go, you have to follow the arrow. The arrow says right there, you got to go that way, right over here, go that way, even though you want to come this way. You have to. All right, so let's go. This one's 52 through 80. We came up the right year. Leaves are turning. Everything's beautiful. Bring your toys, bring everything. You got books to read? Look at that. This is insane. This place is great. Bathrooms have showers. You can lock them from inside. They're really nice. I went inside them. I haven't showered yet this morning. I will. If you need uh, utensils, there's some there to clean up your yard. There's information, uh, places to go on the wall there. A little bit of water here. 61. So I wouldn't recommend that one if there's a storm coming. 62 I would, because look at that view. And 64, that would be perfect. 63 if you got kids, because then there's all the swings and whoo, this is nice. Nice, nice. I mean, look at this. Multi-million dollar view, people. Unbelievable. No beach guard, beach rules. No boats, no pets, no glass. Okay? Just look at this. 67. Lots of room. I got up early because we had a storm and I want to show you if there's any water on any of the lots that you need to be aware of. Well, early, quarter after nine. But we got here late. Got done setting up late. Okay. Bring your toys. Everything. Okay. 
All right, this is uh, 53, 53 through 80. Now, let's go on to the next loop. There's a campsite there for uh, checking in in the, in the uh, garbage. So let's go to the next loop. Remember, that was one through 80. Go up down to two loops. Now, apparently, the leaves turn. Let's try to go again. The leaves turn in mid October period. You do your sanitation, get rid of your black and gray water. Okay. This is 81 through 130. Garbage there. Okay. Five tenths here. One six to one thirty. Can't out see any problems with water. Twenty, one twenty-one. We got bathrooms right there. Okay, twenty-three. Station there. One twenty there. Okay, and then you have this loop here. This is 181 to 105. If you have a group, this is perfect. You can get all these sites, 84, footpath, and then you can camp all together. See, there's, there's no problem with water. It's a little bit here on that one. Otherwise, it's no real big deal. 90 <coughs> excuse me here's a little bit of problem here that's 93 so i wouldn't do 93 there's a lot of water there and then you're right back up to the bathrooms again okay and here's another one 95 i would not do 95's got a lot of water there's the bathrooms there, and there's fresh water there. Footpath, campsite host, camp host is there. It has all the utensils, shovel, rake, all that good stuff. Okay. And then there's 103. So I've only seen a couple of sites that are bad as far as water so far. Okay, that's the next second bunch second biggest loop now there's some smaller loops here this shouldn't take long all right boat lunch see boat lunch straight ahead <laughs> this is crazy people these are all turning beautiful absolutely stunningly beautiful Campsite there, that's 140. So 131. Oh, here we go. Site 131 to 140. One thirty one. Oh my gosh, these are huge. These are nice. But I wanted to be on the water. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Oh, what is this? This here is bathrooms again. Closed for cleaning, but yeah, otherwise it's there. This little runaround thing they have. 
There's your little pathway. Wow. This is really nice. <coughs> Excuse me. 133. Sorry about the call, people. I thought for sure my sinuses would clear up when I got past Saginaw. It didn't. But I think with all the stuff that you're getting with this uh, video, cough can be ignored. If not, sorry. 135 is this campsite. I mean, spectacular. 136. 138. There's your footpath to the bathroom. One thirty-seven. Look at this, man! Just look at that. One thirty-nine. Jeez, oh Pete! And they're back at the end at one forty. Okay, that's another one of the loops. We're gonna hit another one. One forty-one. So let's go. Keep going. Okay. All right, so that's 140 to 140, 31. <coughs> Cough drop. Hold on a second, I get a cough drop. Stop coughing on you guys. If I can. All right, there we go. This is gonna be 141. 151. See it? 141 to 151. Here we go. Oh, these are absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely. You have more privacy. You're more in the wilderness than this one. 143 there. That's 141. One forty two. 143. Here's one that's not camped in tonight, but today, 144. One forty-four. Man. So nice. Oh here you go. Ultimate of ultimate. 145. Now people. I'm gonna pull up in this thing. I'm gonna show you ultimate. Okay. This is campsite 145. Look at that view. You got all this privacy. You got trees around you. You got a little ring for your campfire. Bench here. You can walk down to the water. Now, neighbors are out, so I'm not going to videotape the neighbors. Just not right. But, you see that? This is your own little... Get away. Whew. When I come back up here, this is the one I want, 145. Look at those leaves turning. Your own slice of paradise, people. Your own slice of paradise. All right, let's keep finishing out this campgrounds. This is site 145. All right, let's right, keep going. Yeah, people are up and about. It's just not right to Take pictures of people when they're first getting up. So, if I do capture somebody like that, I'll try to edit them out. Because it's just not right. If I can. Okay. So, let's keep going. I got back up out of this. Top notch. Top notch. Boy, would love to have gotten that one. I didn't know. Now that you have these videos available, you will know. Look at that. Ah, big old bug, big old puddle. No big deal. I got your little toys. These guys know what you're doing. 146, 148. This was nice. The bathrooms there. 
and 49. Boy, you real close there. 150. <laughs> oh, look at that. Perfect little getaway. Two tenths, 151. All right, so let me show you this now. We just finished the second to last loop. 130, see, where is it? 141 to 151, right there. As you can see by 143, they have fresh water. We're going to last loop now. So last loop. All right. They have trails to walk too, if you want to. All right, here we go. Unbelievable. Uh, we'll get to that last driveway to find out what that is. This is 152 to 159. See that? 152 to 159. Fresh water. What is that little thing over there? Oh, that's an outhouse. Okay. That's the other driveway. Okay. 152 to 159. 152. Look at this, 153, 154. Look at how far back it goes. And there's, there's a drinking fountain there. You got your water over there. 155. That person knew exactly what they were doing. Tucked away. Water's crossed away. <coughs> Excuse me. Ooh. And this one here is 156. Look at that. Just tucked away. That's 157. 158. That's 158. That's all 158. Okay. Then you have, wow, no one over here either. 159. Unbelievable. All right, that finishes the loops. Let's get out here, this last drive, see what in the world that is. So that was 152, 159. And this is the last driveway we have here. Oh, it's boat launch. See this here. Man, magnificent. Okay. I'm not in anybody's way, so we're gonna get out and show you. Okay. Need to load, load, push a boat up. This is where you do it. No diving, shallow water, no swimming, launch area only. Metal detecting is prohibited at this state park due to cultural and historical resources within the park. You have those are the types of fish that you normally have. Now, this is those loops I told you about. Safety boat practices. That's how you get to the hospital. Excuse me. You get the type of fish you get. Okay, zebra musk advisory. Here are the rules.
Okay. So if that was fast, just go ahead and still shot it. Let's walk out here, people. This will be the end of the video. I made this video because I couldn't find anything really good on YouTube or anything to describe out this whole place. Okay? Now I do. Now I wish I would gotten campsite 145. But I didn't know. Okay. This is the lake. And remember, about one mile north of us is Lake Superior. All right, folks, highly recommended. Highly, highly, highly recommended. This is Dr. Peter John, God bless.